first grade artists today we are going to be making some happy hearts inspired by the artist Chris Uphuse. So you are going to get back your background paper where you printed different hearts and on top of that background you are going to be creating some happy hearts by collaging. That means we're going to take pieces and parts put them together to make art. So at your tables you're going to have an idea sheet for some eyes or mouths you could draw. Here's another idea sheet about how to put it all together. You're also going to have some tracers at your table of big hearts and little hearts. But we also know how to create hearts on our own. You're also going to have a tray that has lots of different kind of papers. Now some of these papers are kind of wrinkled or there's painting mistakes on them. That's okay. These are scrap papers. They're going to be awesome for us to be creating our happy hearts today. So from one of those papers, you know how to draw your own heart, but I also have some tracers, so you can use some different techniques to create hearts. If you would like to do some tracing, put the tracer in the middle of the paper, go around the shape with your pencil, and then cut it out. We also learned how to draw our own hearts last week, so if you would like to draw your own heart, you could do that too. You create a V, and then draw an M or curves on top. So if you would like to draw your own heart, of course you could. I'm gonna show you one more strategy for making hearts, and that is a sneaky art trick. Hearts are symmetrical. That means they're the same on both sides. So if I take a piece of paper and fold it in half, that crease or fold is gonna be the middle. I would just draw half of my heart. So one diagonal line for the V, and one curve on the top. If you would like to try this technique, you could give it a go. One diagonal line for the V, one curve for the top, and I open it up, I have a heart. If I wanna change the shape of that heart at all, I just fold it in half again, do a little trimming, open it up, and I have a heart. I would encourage you to try all of these different strategies to make hearts today so that you have a little family of hearts on your paper. When I have cut out a few different hearts, think about different sizes. If they're all itsy bitsy teeny tiny, then I will not have good variety. Variety is having many different kinds or sizes or colors. I want to have good variety. When I have a good variety of hearts, I'm ready to glue them down. So just a few dots of glue, no bigger than my pinky fingernail, Flip it over and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I could have hearts overlap. That means they're kind of on top of each other. Now I'm not talking about making a big heart pile. If they're all stacked up like this, no one's going to be able to see my beautiful hearts. So they're gotta, they need to be a little bit spread out. All right. Now you can see on this heart that it has a happy little face. I need to draw some faces on the other hearts as well. So I could use my idea sheet. I could think about uh, lines or shapes that I know to draw faces, but you need to use a Sharpie and draw some different faces. So faces have eyes, they're going to have a nose and a mouth. When I have a little family of hearts on my paper, they're glued down. I have good variety. That means some that are big, some that are small, some that are red, some that are blue. My paper is done. I need to go put it in the drying rack, flat like a tray.